Welcome back to Movie Recaps. Today I will show you a thriller, crime, mystery film from 2016, entitled Run. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Diane Sherman gives birth to a premature daughter who's seen motionless in the incubator, surrounded by doctors who are trying to save her life. In another room, Diane lays in bed in prayer. After the doctors manage to stabilize the baby, Diane enters the room to see her child and asks if she will be okay. In what appears to be a mother support group a woman is seen softly crying, asking who is going to help her child brush his teeth. After she finishes, the group wants to hear what Diane has to share, but she is obviously uninterested, as she is on her phone during the meeting. Diane reluctantly mentions that her daughter, Chloe, is going to college in a few months. She tells the group she's been taking care of her daughter for 17 years and had her entire life revolving around her daughter's health and safety. She reveals she was so committed to taking care of her daughter she never had time to travel and date. The group leader calls Chloe brave for not being pushed back for her disabilities. Chloe wakes up at exactly 6.45 am and gets in her wheelchair. After throwing up in the toilet, she goes to apply cream to some of the rashes on her skin. Next, she takes her medication for today and proceeds to go downstairs using her lift. Downstairs Diane is making an omelette. She pricks Chloe's finger to check her insulin levels and finds that her levels are a little higher than they should be. Before Diane can inject Chloe with an insulin shot, Chloe takes the needle and does it herself. Afterward, Diane helps Chloe with her psychical therapy and schoolwork. In the afternoon Chloe takes more pills. When the mailman comes, Chloe instantly heads for the door. Before she does so, Diane has already collected the letters. After noticing Chloe is short of breath, Diane instructs her to use her inhaler, to which Chloe responds that she's fine. Diane promises Chloe that if any college letter comes she'll immediately show it to her, and tells her to focus on her studies for now. Diane tends to her garden, harvesting some tomatoes which she later uses whilst cooking dinner. After checking Chloe's insulin again, Diane finds that they're low, thus she gifts Chloe a piece of chocolate. Later, Chloe is seen watching videos about the University of Washington, clearly excited to go there. When her mom asks her a question she barely answers, due to being too endorsed in the video she's watching. Later, Chloe is seen in her room, working on a 3D printing machine. To her frustration, some functionality of its doesn't work. When Diane asks what's wrong, Chloe answers that if she had an iPhone, she could tell her, to which Diane chuckles. Diane gives Chloe the rest of her medicine and heads down to the basement. She takes a glass of wine and turns on old home movies of Chloe as a child. The next morning, Chloe sees her mom in the front of the house unpacking groceries from the car. She stares out of the window, longing to go outside. When Diane gets a call and leaves to find better reception, Chloe checks out the groceries her mother brought and steals a few chocolates. While checking the groceries she finds a bottle of pills prescribed for her mother. She hears her mother and immediately puts the pills back in the grocery bag. Diane states that her old med company went out of business and she had to switch prescriptions. Chloe reluctantly asked her if the pills are hers since she saw her name on the pill bottle, to which Diane scoffs and tells Chloe it's only a label. The next morning, Chloe skips taking her pills. She crafts a mechanic claw of some sorts which she uses to reach the pill bottle on the top shelf. A car can be heard approaching. Turns out it's the mailman again, and Chloe hurries to get the mail, only to find Diane got to the door first. When alone, Chloe investigates pills by the name of Trioxane. When examining the bottle, Chloe finds her name is on the label. She decides to peel it off, only to find her mother's name underneath. She realizes she's been given unnecessary medicine. Later, when her mother gives Chloe her pills for the night, she secretly spits them out. When she is sure her mother is sound asleep, Chloe goes on the computer to continue her research on Trioxane. Unfortunately, she has no internet connection. In the distance, Diane can be seen watching Chloe from her bed, which Chloe doesn't notice. In the morning, Diane is seen arguing with an internet provider. It appears their internet connection is down until further notice. Diane asks Chloe about her internet use. Chloe lies and says she's been googling how to fix her 3D printer. Every time her mother is distracted, Chloe seeks the opportunity to learn more about the pills. She tries to call a pharmacy, but they quickly hang up on her, mistaking her voice for her mother's. After multiple unsuccessful attempts to connect to a pharmacy, Chloe calls a random number, and a man picks up. She pleads for him to help her by researching trioxane pills. After some persuasion, the man agrees, and Chloe soon finds out that trioxane is a drug used for heart disease and can cause heart failure. After finding out the colors of the pills don't match, with trioxane being red and the pills she's been taking being green, Chloe is puzzled and doesn't know what to do next. The next day, Chloe and her mother go to a theater to watch a movie. 
Chloe excuses herself to go to the bathroom. Instead, Chloe goes outside and crosses the street to the pharmacy. She cuts through the waiting line and shows the pill to the pharmacist, asking what kind is it. The pharmacist refuses to answer at first, but when Chloe lies that she and her mom are on a scavenger hunt, and the next clue is the pill's name, the pharmacist informs her the pill is a muscle relaxant for the legs, and that it's made for dogs. Chloe has a panic attack. Diane frantically enters the pharmacy and injects Chloe with an insulin shot. She takes Chloe home and takes a shower. It is revealed she has deep scars on her back that appear to be either from slashing or whipping. Later, Diane has a phone call with the pharmacy, trying to convince the pharmacist she would never give her daughter pills for animals. Diane Googles household neurotoxins. Chloe awakes in her room and finds her door locked. Her mother appears to not be at home, and she takes the opportunity to try to escape. She manages to pick the lock, but there is a rake that's jamming the door shut. Chloe decides to tie a bunch of electrical cords together, fills her mouth with water and climbs out of the window. She manages to arrive in front of the next window, and plugs her soldering iron and presses it on the window. She spits water on the window, fastening the shattering process. She climbs through the window. Chloe suddenly can't breathe and has to hurry back to her room for her inhaler. After she does so, she hurries to her lift but finds out the power is off. She throws herself down the stairs and suffers some injuries. While wounded, she finds out she can move her toe. Chloe gets into her wheelchair and tries to escape, but accidentally rolls in front of a truck. The truck thankfully stops and a man worryingly approaches Chloe. At the same time, Diane arrives. Diane and the man have an argument because the man is suspicious of Diane. The man questions Chloe if she wants to go to the police or the hospital, to which Chloe responds she wants to go to the police. Unfortunately, before they can go, Diane subdues the man by injecting him with an insulin shock. Chloe starts hyperventilating and passes out. Chloe wakes up in the basement, where she finds her college letters in the thrash. Chloe also finds her baby photos, where she is seen walking despite her mother telling her she was in a wheelchair all her life. Chloe also finds a death certificate for a baby named Chloe which states she's been alive for only a little over two hours. The newspaper clipping which mentions a case where a baby was stolen from a hospital indicates Diane stole Chloe as a baby to replace her dead child. A flashback is shown in which Diane holds her dead child and screams. Later, she stares at the newborn children in the newborn ring, waiting for the nurse to leave. Chloe breaks down upon her realization. At that moment Diane enters the room, and the two have a heated argument. Chloe asks Diane if she was ever truly sick, to which Diane breaks down crying, trying to persuade Chloe that everything she's done was for her own good. Diane begs Chloe for both of them to go back to their lives as before, which Chloe refuses. In a fit of desperation, Diane pours paint thinner into a pot and sticks the syringe in it. Seeing that Diane is about to poison her, Chloe hurries to the closet and locks herself in. Diane pleads for Chloe to open the door, but Chloe doesn't respond. When Diane breaks down the door, she sees Chloe holding a bottle of pills that if injected in large quantities cause death. Chloe yells out that Diane needs her, and chugs down a handful of pills. Diane screams and tries to make Chloe vomit the pills, but is unsuccessful. She is forced to take Chloe to the hospital, which she does, and Chloe is saved. Outside the hospital room, Diane urges the doctor to let her daughter continue her treatment at home, to which they refuse. Inside her hospital room, Chloe tries to get the attention of the doctor who's taking care of her. Her hands appear to be paralyzed. She tries to write something on a sheet of paper, but an emergency alert makes the doctors leave before they can see what Chloe wrote. Diane uses this opportunity to abduct Chloe. When in the elevator, she promises that she'll never hurt Chloe again. The doctors find out that Chloe's been abducted. Meanwhile, Diane tries to get Chloe down the escalator stairs herself because they're not functioning. She's unsuccessful because Chloe is using her legs to stop her. They have an argument, and Diane pulls out her gun. Before she can use it, she is shot by a police officer and falls down the escalator stairs. Seven years later, Chloe is shown driving a car, on her way to visit her mother. It appears Chloe's legs are better and are semi-functional, but she is still in a wheelchair. She meets up with a clearly sick Diane. Chloe spits up three trioxane pills and Diane's heartbeat quickens. Chloe says it's time to go home, indicating that she'll take care of Diane the same way she took care of her. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.